Tak boleh nom. Tak. Ah, What I'm doing here is I'm cutting the leaf and preparing it to uh, use as a wrap to make um, a kabocha dessert um, today. So basically, just cut the leaf. I cut them about um, about five to seven inch apart. And then once you done cutting the banana leaf, and then you're gonna clean it under uh, water um, normally we don't clean the banana leaf we just use um, a wet cloth or a dry cloth and just wipe it out but to me I think this is better because um, there are a third and when you clean it uh, rinse it uh, under the water it's I think it's more clean so here I'm just drying the leaf with a clean um, cloth or uh, towel. Okay, hi everybody. Today I will be making kabocha dessert wrapped in banana leaf. Um, I did this last week and I posted in Facebook. About uh, 20 people had requested me to make this um, dessert again. So today I'm going to uh, show you guys how um, to make it. Uh, first, you want to pick up a kabocha. I normally pick the biggest one because it's um, you have a good chance that it will be ripe. And here is about five pound of kabocha. I bought this kabocha um, yesterday, so normally I wait until about one week or two to do the dessert. But since I need to do a video, I'll just um, make the video today using the kabocha. So I'm using a grated coconut. You can use. Um, the one that's coming in frozen or the fresh. I recommend fresh uh, coconut if you can, but if you don't have it, just do with the frozen one. And I'm going to use one can of coconut milk and then one bag of the rice flour. This will make your dessert uh, sticky. And then two cup of sugar. If you don't like your dessert to be very sweet, just use one and a half cup. I like mine sweet, so I'm using two cups. And then um, two teaspoon of salt with the dessert and then um, like you know uh, the beginning I show you where I get my banana leaf just basically clean and dry your banana leaf and then you also need some aluminum foil um, cut it about maybe seven to eight inch you want it probably a little bit bigger than your banana leaf this will help prevent your kabocha to break apart when you steam when you steam it okay so now um, first we are going to st start by cutting the kabocha I normally cut mine in half first and the kabocha it's very hard um, you basically want a, a sharp knife and you want to put a lot of pressure into it when you um, cut it in half and uh, be careful because you don't want to cut your finger yeah, it's a little bit tricky, so just uh, be careful and play around with the knife. And just, you know, uh, press it down very hard when you cut it. And let me see. Yep, I'm almost got it open. So here you go. So this is a very uh, good kabocha. It's nice and orange. Like I say, I normally wait to do it for a week or two after I buy it. And then it turns more orange. So now we're going to take a spoon and we're going to remove the seed, um, remove everything out. Also the, the stringy part and the slimy part. Um, the seed, normally when I'm, I have time, I would save the seed and um, roast it with uh, salt. It'll, um, it tastes pretty good, the, the, the kabocha seed. But today, um, I'm a little bit lazy, so I don't, I don't have time. I'm just going to toss my um, seed away watch out for me watch out I thought my young uh into some bot we're not to some bot we're junk enough yeah junk enough once you remove the seed um go ahead and peel the outer layer of the 
kabocha just use a knife and just um, cut it I'll peel it out like that like what I'm doing right now okay so after you peel the kabocha go ahead and give it a nice uh, wash in the water and then we are going to cut this into small pieces and then we're going to shred it in a food processor I mean if you don't have a food processor you can uh, shred it with um, just a regular hand shredder but it's gonna take you forever probably another 35 minute or 40 minutes or so so I do recommend if you have a food processor go ahead and use it with the food processor that I'm using right now there's two blade there's a small hole and a big hole um, we are going to use the big hole so when you put the blade make sure it uh, hear that click noise so it will stay otherwise um, good thing doesn't work okay so go ahead and um, shred this and it's very easy it'll only take you about two minutes versus 35 to four min 40 minutes if you were going to do the hand shred <laughs> So once your food processor is full, go ahead and remove it. And uh, these small pieces, don't throw it away. Go ahead and uh, finely cut it into small pieces and put them with your other kabocha. Okay, so dump your container um, into the bowl. Just um, separate them, the big one and then the shredded one. And then continue to shred all your kabocha. Okay, I'll Okay. 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 Now we are ready to mix the kabocha. Start with the sugar. So here again I have two cups of sugar. And if you don't like sweet, uh, go one half cup of sugar. So then I add in the, the salt and then next um, add in the coconut milk. Use the whole can. Okay, next we're going to add some water. I'm going to fill the coconut milk can with water and I'm just going to pour it into my kabocha mixture. Okay, and then um, before you pour the water into the mixture, use a spoon and um, get the top off the can and then basically give it a, a, a quick stir so you get all your coconut milk. Okay, then we're going to pour the rice flour. I'm going to use the whole bag. And last we're going to add in the grated coconut. Again, I prefer you guys to use the fresh one. But if you don't have it, this will do. It will still taste good. Okay, 
And now we're going to get a spoon and mix it so all the ingredients combine together very well. And um, I think it's much easier to use with your hand, so I'm just going to dig into the mixture and, and um, make sure everything's combined and there's no more um, lump in the flour. So continue to mix until everything is um, mixed very well together. I'm to lay my sour egg uh -huh. Well, I could smell the aroma of the coconut. Um, this is this kabocha dessert is very easy to make. The only hard thing about it is just that time consuming with the uh, shredding the kabocha and cleaning the banana leaf and um, wrapping wrapping it. You can store this dessert in the refrigerator for about a week. Um, if you put in the freezer, it will last you about um, two months or so. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to wrap it. First, take a piece of aluminum foil and then the banana leaf, stick it in the middle. And then you want the smooth side, which is, um, yeah, the smooth side. There's two sides, the back and the front. So that's the smooth side. And you're going to get um, one scoop and then pour it in the middle okay and we're just going to basically um, fold like we um, we're gonna fold in half like in between the middle and then you're gonna get the other end and put that on top and then you're gonna flat the edge and then you're gonna fold that in the middle and then the other end in the middle so the two end line together in the middle and then you're going to put it upside down just like that and let it uh, sit in your steamer. Okay, the water comes to boil, now we are going to steam it. Um, we're going to steam this for 30 minutes and you want to turn your heat on high. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes, so the kabocha dessert is cooked. I'm just going to remove it. And then there's some that I have wrapped on the table, which I'm going to um, steam that. And, um, and I normally put them in the basket so they cool down faster. So then I'm going to put the one that I um, didn't steam yet into the steamer. Before you steam the second batch, make sure there's enough water in your pot. Okay, so there's enough water in mine. So that's going to take 30 more minutes. Okay, I'm I waited for the dessert to cool down a little bit so now it is ready for me to taste and show you guys how it look like. So open it. Look at that. Mm -hmm -hmm. It turned out very nice. Okay. You know, actually, you can um, basically wrap without using the banana leaf. But you know, I'm just going to follow tradition and just use the uh, banana leaf as well. So look, it's very nice, soft, and moist. And it's, um, it is sticky. That's, um, that's how the dessert is. 
I think it's uh, if it's a little bit cool down a little bit, it would be best. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that stick together. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Taste it. There you go. Mmm. It is so delicious. This is um, perfect. I think the dessert is perfect. It's um, sweet the way I wanted it. But there's some people that don't like it sweet. Like I say, you can use one and a half cup of sugar. I use two cups. I like mine. Yeah, sweet. I know you have the fly try to get into my dessert. I say, yeah, move away fly. Oh, yeah. This is so delicious. You can taste the coconut. It's very creamy. And it's sweet. And uh, lots of coconut. And you can taste the, the kombucha. Okay. And uh, my kids... They like it with the whipped cream. We normally put it in the refrigerator, let it cool, and then once it cool down, and then we pour the whipped cream. Oh yeah. So it tastes actually it tastes better with the whipped cream, to tell you the truth. My kids like it like that and I like it like that too. There you go. That's it. Mm mm mm. Okay, so this is it for the video guys. Thank you for the request. There was about 20 people request me to do this video right after I posted on Facebook. So I hope you guys um, give the recipe a try and uh, like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, comment, and um, share the video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. So I can continue on to post more video for you guys. So until the next video, thank you and take care. and. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.